Hello guys. Did you miss me? Probably not. <laughs> Today's video, I'm gonna be crocheting all of my friends and family gifts. First, I'm making pancakes because I'm home alone today. The whole day, I'm doing nothing today. Does anybody else love when they're home alone and they can just have a day to do everything? Maybe that's just the Virgo in me. I'm an Enneagram 3, by the way. I just found that out too, and I'm like, wow, that explains a lot. Anyways, here are the things that I'm making for my friends. It probably will not, it will not get done all today, but that's okay. So I'm making Sarah, my sister. I'm trying to make her an oppa bucket hat, but the last time I tried to use that yarn, um, I literally couldn't see what I was doing and it looked really bad. So I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna make my mom some bookmarks, my dad some crochet bear coasters, cause he said he wanted some. My friend Emma, I'm gonna crochet her one of those black fluffy bags. I've already started it. I just haven't finished cause I've been lazy. And then I'm making my friend Sydney some arm warmers. I already made her a bucket hat to match. And that is it. Will this all get done today? It will not, but that is all right. <laughs> I'm gonna make pancakes now. I'm very excited. I haven't had pancakes in a while. So if you guys are watching this in the morning, make breakfast with me. I love pancakes. If you didn't notice my sweater, read what it says. It says, Grandma's Rules. Buy them presents, feed them sweets, and send them home. I thrifted it. I had to wash it two times because it smelled a little funny, but now it's fine. Cue the relaxing cooking montage. <laughs> beautiful they are. I'm very excited. I love pancakes. I'm gonna move you back. Okay, so first I'm gonna start with the bear coasters because I know that's gonna be the easiest. I'm just using some black normal sized yarn. <laughs> it's gonna say string. It's just medium four. I got the Craft Smart one. It just seemed softer than the other ones. I will link all of the tutorials that I've used for these things down below. It's currently 11.08 and let's see how long this takes. This took me an hour to do. Uh, I mean, it's not bad. Kind of hard to see, but now I just have to make another one. See, so just put it like this. I think it's big enough for a mug now, so that's good. Okay, I'm gonna make the second one and I'll be back. They're both done now. I just have to tuck in the ends, but it's about 12.40. That one took me 30 minutes instead. I'm currently watching It's Okay Not To Be Okay on Netflix. And I've been sitting for a while, so I'm gonna go walk Lily and my neighbor's dog for a break. I think I'm going to start on Sarah's Appa Bucket hat. I am terrified. So here is their yarn that I'm using for it. I bought this yarn specifically for it because I saw like a cute version of it on TikTok. But when I first did it, I couldn't tell what I was doing and I had to take it all out and restart it. If I have to do that again for this, I'll just use this that I have left over from the bag that I made in my other video. If you wanna watch it, it'll be an eye card. We'll see, we're gonna start off with this again and then I'm gonna have lunch because it's two o'clock and I'm getting a little hungry. <laughs> Thank you. 
Lunch is over. Time to finish this. I'm literally gonna cry if I have to take this out again. So the thing that I have a hard time about is like doing the increases because I forget because I literally can't see anything when I'm doing this. So I literally forget every time. Yay. Imagine dragons. Mercury sword. No. And the second stitch. Two half double crochets. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. No shit. All right, this is how far I've gotten. Got forty stitches. I'm counting them by like sticking my finger in like each stitch, if that makes sense. I think I'm getting closer to being done with the top. I think I have to get like to sixty stitches, so I have two more like circles to go. It looks actually really good. Last time I got to this point it looked fine. So I think the hard part is getting like the rest of it, you know? Um, it's supposed to be 17 centimeters. Hey Google, how many inches in 17 centimeters? 17 centimeters is equivalent to 6.693 inches. So I added just one row and it's at 17. 17 centimeters? Is it too big? Oh my God, wait. Wait, I think I made it too big. <laughs> I'm so sad. Because it's 6.9 centimeters and this is 8, 8 inches. No, it's 6.6 6 inches for 17 centimeters. And this is 8 inches. How did I add like one entire extra row? I guess I am taking out this whole row. Okay, I think I'm gonna do this one next row and then I'm gonna like stretch because I'm trying to get more flexible and it's like a good thing to take a break and like get my hands to not hurt because they kind of hurt so but yeah at least it's going better than last time I think unless this next row looks horrendous Okay, um, hear me out. Oh god, it's so tall. Why is it like that? <laughs> I'm just, um, thinking that we'll just go like this. Okay. <laughs> so big. You guys do not know the pain I went through to finish this thing. The first time I did it, one side was lopsided. You're supposed to go the same way every time, right? But somehow I accidentally started going the opposite way 
and it made one side of it longer so it looked like it was like one of those like floppy hats with the ear on the side but only on one side and then before this i had to redo it before because it was just not going well and now it's just too long at the top we've resorted to doing it like this okay it's cute it is cute i mean it's cute rolled up so we're gonna make the arrow now for like the appa arrow so i've got this it's like a tan color like this so it works i really should have just made it with easier like yarn but i really liked the fluffiness of this and i thought it would be cute so i did this so this shouldn't take that long i would hope I'm using this tutorial right here. See, look it. This is what hers look like, but it wasn't fluffy. And I was like, I wanted to make mine fluffy because I'm like that and I want to be extra, but it did not work out. So here we go. I did use a five millimeter and smaller your yarn with the tail end and the bottom of your hand. much later but um here's my arrow i just went to the christmas eve service today because it's christmas eve and i'm doing this my yarn needle had a crack in the top so it kept opening whenever i tried to thread through something so i had to hot glue it but now i'm just gonna weave in all my little ends on here and here and attach it on and then i'll be done and then i'll wrap some christmas presents which i haven't done yet either so yay currently 10 o'clock christmas eve it's kind of cute what are your thoughts it's a little bit long if i do it this way so i'm just like here it is it's a little bit lopsided but that's okay it's a thought that counts it's homemade okay here's my little thing of christmas presents down there i'll show you what i got for other people here too yay does anybody else think it doesn't really feel like christmas because it does not feel like christmas at all and it's quite sad because Christmas is my favorite season and it's just gonna be over. But I never really felt like it was Christmas anyway. But anyways, I'm gonna show you guys all the gifts that I'm giving to other people that I have. They are under this blanket because I've been hiding them. <laughs> so, got a lot of things. Got this mug. I actually thrifted this mug. It's one of those like Starbucks place mugs and this one's Pike's Place Market and I thought it was really cute because my mom really likes them. I have not washed it yet i'm gonna go wash it first but i can't do it while they're down there i got these little prayer cards from my mom they just have little like prayers on the back like encouraging prayers they kind of just look like this and then this is for my friend emma i hope she doesn't watch this video but um it's this little pink bag isn't it cute? It's so her style too. It's just like a pink squishy bag. And I have this bookmark that I made for my mom as well. She really likes reading. Plaid shirt for my dad. I thrifted it. It's very like heavy and soft. It's like red and like black. I very much like it. And then I thrifted this for my sister. It has little corgis on it. I mean it has a corgi on it. And I thought it was cute because she really likes corgis. <laughs> And then last, I have this notebook for my mom. She really likes journaling. So I thought it'd go perfectly with this. Last thing I got, I made these in this vlog. But the two bear coasters, I'm putting these in his stocking. And also this hat. I'm gonna wrap now.
you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys had a good holiday or a good christmas if you celebrate that since i'm planning on uploading this like a day after christmas update on my england trip that obviously did not happen but i'm going to oregon for the last week of december so that'll be fun i'll have some fun vlogs when i'm there i'm also getting a new iphone because i'm running out of storage on my own and if i get like a new one like a really good new one then i won't have to buy another one for a while and i'm gonna buy like a lot of storage so i'm very excited i'm gonna get an oregon because like there's no sales tax you know and yeah so there'll be an unboxing for you who like those even though i can't do them very often because i don't buy products that often <laughs> But yeah, if you guys like this video, like it. And if you like me, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And click the bell if you always want to know when I upload videos. I always like my comments and sometimes I reply. I reply normally when the video first uploads because then it kind of lazy afterwards. But yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye. <laughs>